Hey, what is going on? It's your boy HGR here. We are back. Um, I just found this new store just open. They got um, toys, comics, and video games, mostly toys, and uh, lots of toys, tons of toys. But I just wanted to do a quick video. I did get permission from the guy working there to film. So I just want to kind of show you some of the stuff they had. They had the PlayStation games, obviously PlayStation 2 consoles. You know, kind of the standard stuff you find. But they had some cool stuff too. The Halo console. Um, the Zapper in the Box. Final Fantasy. In this case here, had kind of the NES and, you know, the Nintendo. It was all kind of in the front was the video game section. And um, a few things stood out like that. Shining Force on CD. Some Saturn games. Um, things like that, and I'm I'm talking now, I'm filming after, kind of watching this as I go, so it's kind of why I'm showing it. And they had um, Empire Strikes Back playing, and I got some pictures, still pictured in, of some of the better stuff. But yeah, they had some decent prices on th some things, and some weren't. And uh, just to let you know, they were not sponsoring this video; they didn't give me any kind of discount. I'm just filming it just because I want to kind of get the word out there, letting people know. Now, I know a long time ago we had game stores in the area and then they kind of went away. So hopefully these will last. But this one had just opened so I figured I would come in and um, you know, see what they had and then maybe shoot a quick video. So, but yeah. Um, so this was the Game Boy. They had TurboGrafx-16 stuff. Um, back over here again. But yeah, TurboGrafx. They had about every system. They had the, I didn't see any Jaguar games. Um, but they did have the system there. They had the 5200, that white Sega, and that, that white Sega is a custom build. So they have a guy there, uh, he does custom build systems and he tries to sell them. And, um, it's pretty good work, I guess. I don't know. I didn't buy any of it, but, um, and I'm just going to say, I think that stuff's a little overpriced, but some of his other stuff, like he's got decent prices on the toys, not really trying to gouge people. Um, so I would say go in there, check them out if you're in the area. So they had all this, like, this is the toy section now, the G.I. Joe, the whole store toy. I'm talking Transformers, He-Man, G.I. Joe, just about everything you could think of. They had a little anime section back there. They have the comic books, Pokemon cards, kind of all that stuff. Um, and this is the He-Man stuff. Um, my boy, um, too much stuff was Corey. He, you know, he's in the master system, um, Masterverse, and I kind of like this stuff too. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's showing it off, and um, there's the anime section, a little bit of it. But they had the Night Raven, and this is the um, couple of custom built Sega Genesis they had there uh, Castlevania Chronicles and Diablo. Uh, I'm not sure about that 200, but um, yeah, it is what it is. But again, they're, they're pretty good. This guy that worked there, he's cool. Um, I guess the owner's cool. I haven't met him yet. But yeah, this is some more of that stuff today. And there's a Thundercats. And um, we're just talking about some Thundercat toys. And there's those again. And um, yeah. So anyway, guys, I thank y'all for watching. Y'all can look at these pictures. And the address, everything will be at the end. There's that custom Sega I was talking about. And uh, the address will be at the end. And if you got anything, you can hit them up. Thank y'all for watching. I'll check you out the next one. Peace.